All right, guys, welcome back. This is the Austria campaign part five. Look at that, we made it to part five. Um, yeah, so here we are, where we left off from the last one. Uh, before we dive in, I just want to let you guys know if you haven't noticed already, we have the new uh, Dev Diary series that I'm going to try and put out every Monday. Probably won't get every Monday, but gonna go for some consistency just to let you guys know what I'm working on and get you a sneak peek of how things are going and whatnot so that's gonna be where you'll you'll get your most up-to-date information um, I'll try and keep things updated on mod DB and the discord but that'll probably be your best bet um, what else oh so for today's um, episode and the episodes going forward I implemented the no replenishment so as you can see uh, this is missing a couple of troops but when I go to replenish nothing happens so that works for the AI as well as uh, the human player so it's gonna change really how we we go about and it's gonna make population become a lot more important um, which is the goal anyways this one is already replenishing because we hit the replenish last time but we won't be able to replenish future iterations um, also you might notice the background music I just found some background music that's copyright free on YouTube so hopefully that adds a little bit of more immersion instead of just silence and then the sound of my voice as nice as my voice is you know um, yeah so before we dive in I just want to give us a look at the world we've been mostly focusing our attention right here uh, because that's where we are as Austria but I want to just give you a look at in 1709 how the world looks um, so Sweden here we'll start here since we'll go north to south and then check out other areas. So Sweden had a rough start. They lost St. Petersburg to Russia and Estonia revolted. But it looks like they've come back from that, recaptured both of those, and managed to take Norway, I think fairly recently, because it's smoking. If we look at their diplomacy, Sweden, uh, they're at war with a lot of people so they have a lot of room to expand or they could be I don't know mobbed by all those people if we look in the Germanic Holy Roman Empire area Spain's still holding in their their little mainland colonies Venice has got a, a decent force going here the Italian states that's cool they only have one, normally in actual history this is split up between a lot of different people, but they didn't have enough provinces to do that. Uh, we are going strong as Austria. Poland is suffering at our hands, as well as Prussia. Um, let's move down to the Ottomans. The Ottomans have one or two two rebellions going on look at that right next to each other but other than that they seem to be holding off pretty well I, don't, I think Persia starts with Azerbaijan so um, yeah they seem to be doing fairly well with some stability issues but nothing too crazy Genoa is still there Savoy is still there France has Strasbourg and Paris uh, which is normal. Westphalia is still around, Hanover is still around, so a lot of the Germanic states are still pretty solid, which is nice. The Netherlands has not yet managed to kick Brussels out of, or Spain out of Brussels. Uh, which, I don't know, it'll happen eventually. Spain, they took out Portugal. Look at that, they own Gibraltar. They haven't taken over Morocco, which I noticed they like to do a lot, but has it happened yet? So Spain's really is a powerhouse, and they were very powerful at this time. 
Um, I'm gonna skip this song because it's a Christmas song and I'm not feeling Christmas. All right, let me load back in. La -di -da. I haven't really actually listened to this whole soundtrack either, so it'll be fun for me too. The UK is still the united as a kingdom. <laughs> you see what I did there? Um, so I, I know when I played a playthrough as Sweden just to test how things worked in the mod, I invaded Ireland and I couldn't subdue the rebels because I just went straight to Scotland so then the Irish rebelled and they wouldn't surrender and yeah it's pretty cool pretty accurate Russia's doing its thing being massive nothing new there well let's move towards India here we got the Persians I really want to explore uh, this culture eventually and make it playable um, I think that's a really cool area that was neglected um, in the vanilla. So it looks like the Mughals are struggling, not even necessarily because of the Marthas, but because of their own instability. They have four rebellions going on. Uh, and they only have four, five rebellions, and they only have four more territories. So, that's funny, because in my Swedish campaign, the Mughals actually pushed the Marthas all the way down to here. Um, but let's go check out the Americas. All right, nothing too crazy here. The tribes are still around. Um, France still owns, France owns this. Anything interesting? Not really. Let's see. Uh, New Mexico is owned by the the Spanish. New Spain? No, it's just Spain now. They incorporated. Um, pirates are there. Yeah, it looks like the Americas is pretty standard. So yeah, that's it so far. I'll just go ahead and uh, dive into our campaign wherever we left off last. Um, this guy is out of movement, but I'm gonna take out West Prussia once he is done. And are any of these guys really weak? 120. But he's experienced and he's only 50 so this is where I'm talking about you're gonna have to play uh, figure out is it worth keeping or should I get rid of this unit and whatnot oh yeah all right let's hit end turn and see what happens Yeah, let me know so if you didn't catch the dev diary I'll give you a quick oh my goodness this again so annoying I should just not repair it but um, as far as the dev diary goes uh, I'm gonna be working on it at just a few nations primarily and I'll release those and then I'll move on to the next so Sweden Denmark, which I'll make a playable nation. Russia and Poland, Lithuania will be the first round of unique units, the new recruitment system, all of that good stuff. Um, and so after that, I haven't decided, I'm, I'm thinking about going chronologically since the Great Northern War, which was those four happened right at 1700 I might see like 
uh, is the Spanish War of Succession or the Seven Years War? They're all in there somewhere. I don't know exactly. I might go in chronological order to get these ones. Um, but I'm willing for ideas of what nation groups I should do next. So, yeah. Okay. Let's uh, demand the surrender. All right. I'm just going to besiege them. Let them come to me. Now that now that wasting units is not a good thing. Like I can't afford to to just throw away units anymore. So I'm gonna. How much money are we making? Seven hundred. How are our ministers? Treasury is four. Oh, he's not good for treasury. All right, looks like Treasury's gonna stay for. All the rest are okay. Well, um, I'm gonna start getting some agriculture research in. We need to build up an economic base. <sighs> Stupid. I'm gonna start building up a force to deal with this dude. Well, after I take West Prussia, I'm going to... Yeah, okay, I'm not repairing that anymore. Screw it. Assassinate. Bummer. Man, Poland, just relax. Can I get rid of... No, not quite. The nobles know how it is. They're like, yeah, it's fine. All right. Time to build up an army. I'm going to get one cavalry there and one... Ah, oh, I can't get the line infantry. Hmm. Too expensive. Well, we'll wait for next time. How much do line infantry cost in upkeep? Well, how much do they, oop, That's 200 upkeep. I might not be able to afford a... Yeah. Let's uh, just get a militia. That'll be enough, I think, to deal with this. That's the hope. Even if it's not, I'll just disband my troops and reform them and wear that down because now I can't replenish it see how that works Ooh. looks like Prussia wants to help me out with West Prussia except for they want it for themselves which means they'll probably attack me if I take it but that's okay I can afford and another rebellion. Ooh, I got some actual line infantry this time. It won't be enough. Let's leave our weakest unit back in the city just in case. And let's fight it. I feel like this is the third episode in a row where I'm just putting down Polish rebels. Dang Poles don't know when to know they're conquered. Patrick Henry. What a dude. It's a little cold in my house. Even though I have a space heater going. Whatever. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that red sun. This will make some cinemagraph. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna speak. Alright. 
Hey, that's not a bad spot for the cannons. Is this better? Nope. Trick with cannons is getting a good line of sight. Oh, look at that, I have lancers. Oh, heck yeah. Put the lancers on the wings. Okay, so I have a bit of a new strategy with the new replenishment system. And it's called throw your uh, militia in first and use your line infantry as a hammer to hit the enemy where they're weak. Let's shoot that cannon. Let's look at the marching. Look at that. Beautiful. Bayonets forward. 21st Regiment of Militia. The 14th. The 19th. What do we got? 5th foot, 6th foot, and 7th foot. Look at that. All in order. Have I hit anything? Nope. Huh. Oh, no, no, no. Not you guys. You guys. Oh, you're out of range. Let's move. Horses. Oh, yeah. Another thing I think would be really interesting is, once again, making the range where you can spot troops really quite low, except for if you have scout troops. The scouts will be specialized at finding enemy units, but they won't be that good at fighting, if that makes sense. So their, their goal is not to engage, but just to scout. And so you'll have to balance how much do I want to know about the enemy versus how much firepower do I want to be able to bring. I was also looking, sorry, this is a lot, but I've been doing research about getting more than 20 units uh, and it's definitely possible. The only hesitation I have is it's a lot of work to figure out how to get all the units to show up. Now you don't necessarily need to have all the units show up. It's not required. But it definitely seems like it would be a lot easier to control if I could figure out how to get, you know, so some people were talking about reducing the scale, but you'd have to reduce it a lot. And by that point, clarity will be suffering as you can't really tell what unit is what. So I don't know. We'll see where things go. Can they shoot? No, keep advancing kind of want to keep my infantry behind ridges those cannons can't do too much and get my lancers in a good spot that looks like a good quick acceleration spot look at that beautiful Nope. All right, forward. On the double. Move that up. Let me see. I know I've, some people on the Discord were saying, or actually I think it was on a comment on another video were saying like, you go way too hard with the strategies, like just line them up and let them shoot. But for me, it's a lot more fun to, to figure out, oh, what's my optimal strategy, you know? How can I best utilize these troops versus other troops and whatnot? So I know it's kind of strange, but that's me. That's kind of why I play these games. Oh, man. You guys are not very good shots. Guess that's why you're militia.
Alright. Ready for this? Let's get the lancers ready. Alright, fire into them. Yeah, here we go. Look at that nice volley. I do like the recruitment or the resupply addition just because it makes units feel important. Like as I lose units, I'm like, uh, I can't replace those. Which I think is a uh, something that Total War has needed for a while. Cause current Total Wars are like, oh, it's alright. I lost all but five units in my army. I just build them again. Uh, let's just fire at those guys. Uh, it's line infantry. What do you think? Should I do a back charge? Let's try it with the lancers. They'll probably intercept with their lancers, but... We'll see. Oh uh, yeah, the epic music going on. Oh. Nice. And that breaks them. That should cause a pretty good chain route too. And now we hit them from the other side. Move this one up. Yeah, that was effective. Let's advance. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Advance and advance. Look at that. Yeah, that was a great cav combo. All right, both units. Right there. Kill these dang cannons. Oh, they're shattered. Okay. What? What the? It says you're shattered. Oh, there's two units? I'm so confused. I don't know if that was just a little bug or what. Move up, move up, sweep them. Well, I think I silenced that cannon just by sheer brute force. Let's, uh, there we go. Battle won, heroic victory. Yeah, I think I think Austria now has survived its initial hard start and we will be able to thrive. I'm thinking about setting up some colonies even once we get more ports. Oh, but first we gotta go on our crusade and capture Jerusalem. Of course. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, it's worth it. I'm just gonna auto resolve. And once again, just to show that this doesn't work, I'm clicking the button over and over, but nothing happens. Alright. What is your happiness level? Minus eight, but that'll go down. There should be a military crackdown. Oh, it's these ones. Alright. What are the traits? Aggressive, Corporal, and Gold Braid. Nice. Also, I'm looking into adding events. Just, it looks like it's kind of difficult. I haven't done much work with scripts before, so we shall see. Oh, it looks like we are ready to take out. Let's see if uh, 
see what happens. Is this there? Hey, I found him. I finally found their, their dude. Let's, can I assassinate him? Come on. Please, please, please. Ugh. What tree did Ah, oh, that's the other guy. Dang it. Well, I'm making one. One will be added to my treasury. One dollar. Ooh. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna end this menace once and for all. I think I'm ready. This is a not a high stakes battle, but it's a good ridding of a nuisance battle. And this guy has definitely been a nuisance. Alright, here we are. It's kind of a dreary day. A little bit of fog hanging out. Okay, okay. Got my shooty shooty calf. La, uh, militia. And regiment of horse. Let's go. Where is he? Straight ahead. Oh, that's not passable. Well, let's go like that. Where does it stop being passable? Right there. I just kind of want to anchor my flank on that if possible. Because that's nifty. Alright, we'll speed things up a little. I guess we are attacking, so maybe he won't. Oh, he looks like he's coming for me. Maybe. Come on, I dare ya. Oh, I should uh, turn off that. Move these guys up. All right, he's got one thing of militia and two things of horse. Let's see, if I put him up there, where does he go? That's nah, not worth it. We'll just wait. Alright. If you guys don't like the music, just let me know. I won't include it, or I'll try and find something different next time. But I kind of enjoy it. That's movement. Run. Run me buckos. This is very calming music for a battle, but that's okay. It saves me from copyright strike. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. You guys can all fire at will. And you charge. Come on, come on, shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot. There's a good volley. Alright, you come shoot. Come on now, hold on. Don't die. Make them die. Wavering, come on now. Come on. Dang it. Well, let's cut that one in half and that one in half-ish. Uh, maybe if I, maybe this guy will rally them? Who knows? And my provincial cavalry 
broke so quickly. All right. Don't run them down. No, don't do that. That's mean. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing, but I'm I'm trying to just wound them. Actually, I, no, that's a lie. That's to cover my embarrassment. I was trying to kill him, but I got killed instead. But hey, we shall rise again and strike them down. This music sounds like something from Rome 2. I think. One of those. Rome or Attila. Alright, look at that. I lost less than them anyways. Even though I get driven back, I got the better end of that exchange. I'll take it. Alright, yes I know. My goodness, Poland, relax yourself. All right, negative two. But I need that money, right? Because if I exempt, I'm going super negative. Yeah, I'm sorry, I need the monies. All right, we're gonna chase him down again. And this guy's gonna die. Ugh. You're the worst assassin ever. What? Hey. Now that's rude. Well, I guess we'll move this way. Could be worse. Uh, let's see. Uh, do these guys have any calf? They have one. Alright. We'll end the turn. We'll let Prussia keep Prussia. Since that's who they are. I'll deal with those Germanic brothers another time. Okay. You sabotaged it more. Lovely. Alright. Can I safely auto resolve, you think? I'm gonna just do it. Look at that, victory. Get out of here. What do you have left? Ugh, just chasing you all over the world. All right, let's send our veterans back to the towns. Just so we have a little defense there. And I think those guys will be able to take out that. move towards the city. They riot and damage the college some more. Thanks guys. Oh my goodness, I'm still losing money. All right, can I limit any armies? What do we got here? Nothing. I'm gonna lose one of these guys. What do we got? 36. We are in need of monies. I repeat, in need of monies. <laughs> like, I know the Habsburgs were chronically short on cash, but this is just fear and fury. <laughs> I hate Poland so much. So freaking much. Stop raiding all my dang stuff. Yeah, I know. Ugh. Also, you get out of here. I don't want your Islam. You are just... Oh, okay, you're just gonna march over there somewhere. I got a new agent, didn't I? Uh... I'm, I'm a little irritated in case you didn't realize at this guy oh look at that I have zero money and I'm going negative by seven f oh my gosh I 
<laughs> All right. What? No, no, no. Off of mic. No. I wanted to to hit the surrender button to make them surrender. But they oh, screw it. I hate Poland. I hate them very much. Okay. I know we're going bankrupt. How much do these cost in upkeep? That's 200. Okay. Yes, I know. Alright. This will be another... Fifty. How many? That, 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 that math doesn't work. What? That went more. I'm so confused. <sighs> All right. I'm sorry, people. I need taxes. Just for a little while, okay? That wasn't even enough. Okay, more taxes. Can I leave this one down? Because that would be really nice. Okay. Sorry, wealthy people. You're getting taxed. Well, that was kind of a disaster. I'm really irritated, but it's okay. I will humble. Poland. I just had a misclick, which happens. Oh, that's not even, that's just a town. That's why it didn't work. Let's see, they have three pikemen and some horse and some, okay, I can take this. Oh, it's, it's a fort. Oh, bummer. I still can take it. I have cannons. It just takes a little more work. Well, you guys aren't seeing my best performance here. I'm, I'm not usually this unobservant. Well, I think if I take one more town off Poland, they might be willing to surrender. Oh, I, I found a thread on the Total War Center about tweaking uh, all the diplomacy settings, which might be a good thing. Come on, I need a sight line at the walls. You can't tell me that I've got no sidelines. Are you for real? Come on. How about right here? Okay, I think I think this will work. I hope this will work. Yeah, if we shift them that way a little bit. Yeah, I think I think they can hit that. Alright. This isn't a time for subtlety. This is a time where we just prepare to mob into the breach. All right. Knock down that wall. Come on. Yes. All right, it works. I'm gonna fast forward while they shoot it down. Twelve percent, nine twenty-two. Oh no, twenty-five. Nice. I hope they keep their troops there. Sieges are a little buggy. I might. I'm also looking into disabling sieges. I might leave the buildable forts and fort battles 
just because those impacts actually a fair bit. Um, you can use them as defensive locations. All right, we got one breach. I'm just gonna knock down this so they can't fire on it. Well, let's see what they're doing here. Pikemen, pikes, flintlocks, flintlocks. You really need at least two breaches to be successful and what I usually do is mob one area with a lot of troops until they commit most of theirs and then I sneak the rest in the back to try and cap that. Because troops will fight in cities to almost the last man. I do have to watch this time limit though. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is move up those guys towards what will be that breach and then everybody else or and then my line infantry and cavalry will go for the capture point oh don't shoot my horses I like how I hit stop and they just don't stop. Oh, shot some of my own militia. Nice job. <sighs> oh well. It is what it is. That's almost done. So we've already used a quarter of our time. We haven't really even made a Ooh, actually, you know what? I might send these guys around, climb the wall, and shoot down. Because if they aren't going to defend the wall, I will take it. Alright. Let's put it into play. Or maybe just a slower fast forward. General, you can run. All right, wave one. Ooh, what do we got here? Some movement, eh? Is we should chew them up fairly quickly. It's a nice, narrow, dense area. Ah, oh, bummer. They didn't commit. Ah, maybe they will. They're moving calf. All right, all right. They have a regiment of horse there. I'm gonna move my infantry up, put them into square, and pull my cavalry out. Wavering, come on, break them. Shake in. Come on, man, get into place. Steady, shaking, wavering. See if we can break him with a charge. Wavering. Losing slightly. Looks like we shattered their their calf? They had two. Okay. That's fine. We can uh Alright, break them and see if we can get this new one that's charging out this is working actually pretty well but yeah you can attack that the rest of you guys just take the wall sweet 
We are doing good damage on there. Fire onto the the enemy. General, you can run down the. I still have my calf. That's good. Let's uh swing this out. What are you? Oh, you're shooting at my guys. How about we just line up right there? All right, we broke him. Let's get him. Yeah, I think we broke these too. Yeah, I think they're gone. Killed the entire unit. And those are shattered. All right, you guys just gonna get friendly fire. Looks like though we could run these in. And these guys can go here. All right, after the cavalry gets past, I'm gonna charge in my, or, excuse me, get these guys going in at double time. The gate is open. That's handy. Guess I could have done that. See if we can force our way in here. Want to shoot those guys or just stand there? That's good. Alright. Cav, you can... Let's move the, our infantry in and I can put them into square. And that'll give them a bonus. I don't know if it'll work. Oh, yeah. Provincial Cavalry. All right, and we can send these guys around. All right, they are losing Cav quick. Let's just charge these militia in. Definitely not the cheapest victory ever. It could have gone a lot smoother. But it could have gone a lot worse too, so. And here we will. Alright. Your calf has got to be almost all dead. Only eight of them left. So we'll go militia. And we'll just shoot into these guys. Stay there. Oh, they're breaking. Screw retreat. Ah, uh, yeah. There it is. A bloody victory, but not not as not the worst it could ever be. We're attacking a fortification. That's awesome. I see you have made three spelling mistakes. Some French aristocrat reading his death sentence before being guillotined. Yikes. Uh, 
All right. Moss Honor 57, but we still got a decent army going. Are we making money? Okay, we're making money again. That is such a weird... Oh yeah, because we upped the tax. We're gonna have to deal with rebellion there, but... Okay, they don't have cav. I think I can quickly end this. All right, guys, I know we've had a lot of battles short uh, back to back, but I'm gonna do this one more battle and then probably call it good. I know this isn't the craziest episode ever. We didn't hardly do any turns, but I'm, I'm making progress against Poland. Progress on the Polish front. What's another word? Uh, progress against the Polish people. There we go. Alliteration. <coughs> Oops. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. It's a good sound. Soundtrack thingy. I like it. Good for a battle. All right, cannon, militia. Ooh, one more line and lancers. I think the lancers are gonna end this before it hardly gets going. Like last time, cannons are there. All right. It's just, we can see their little anti-cav things. There's their artillery. Let's just do, we're gonna turn off fire at will for you, just so you don't repeat the killing of our own troops again. Ah, they are shifting. Well, water trough. Nice. All right, they're pulling back their troops. They're gonna leave their cannons exposed then, because I don't think they can move. Yeah, they're sakers. All right, I'm almost out of the cannons angle of fire. Where is these ones? You guys go up to that hill. Got the fields of Austrians. Did you take fire? You should be out of range if my demi cannons are out of range. Yeah. These guys are still hidden. That's good. Uh, condition is fresh and fresh. All right, I'm gonna fast forward. No need to watch the slow marching. Okay. Did they discover this Lancer unit? Well, if so, it won't matter. I think I can... What do you think? Let's see. They charge over this hill. Will they get set in time? Mm. Yikes, they, I think they will. Well, it's gonna be close. Nice. That should break those guys pretty quick. And on to the cannons. Can wipe out those cannons and then nothing they can do 
will really be able to hurt me all that much. Let's, uh. Ooh. Did I actually get any kills? Yeah, it looks like one, 298. And there's their cannons gone. How many men have you lost? Two. And you wiped out a whole unit. Bravo. Oh, they broke. Broke. Come on, let's uh. I know I normally don't hit continue, but I might continue this just to um, get some more kills because this is not not enough kills all right hold your fire because I need to uh, need to not let this army keep being around you know what I'm saying really want to wipe this army out as quick as possible. Got the army moving forward. But the same. And lose a horse just because stupid pathfinding. Looks like my infantry actually caught up. And the general is running through the trees. Alright. Let's finish mopping these up. Another Georgie quote, let's see, the Constitution vests the power of declaring war in Congress, therefore no offense, offensive expedition of importance can be undertaken until after they sh shall have deliberated upon the subject and authorized such a measure. Ha, that didn't last very long. See, the trick is you just gotta declare it a peacekeeping action and not a war. Look at that, that's good stats right there. My professional lancers. All right, I think once we put down these guys, it shall be, uh, done. Let's see if Poland will, that was a generous piece. I didn't even, not. all right, Poland, your own loss. We'll go one more turn, then call it a day. And there it is. Saw that one coming. Stupid raider. Alright, Russia. I'll trade with you. Oh, I have a connection to them now. Nice.
you know. Will you accept a piece right away? Bummer. <laughs> it was worth the shot, right? All right, Poland. Let's be reasonable. I can offer you 625 bucks. That's my whole treasury. You want Hungary back, trade agreement. I don't think so. Hungary is mine. How about this? I give you all my money and do that. Okay. Screw you. Um, looks like I'm still going to be dealing with rebels. I'm just going to auto resolve this. Victory. All right, things are finally stabilizing in Warsaw. Um, I'm going to need to build up some troops because the Prussians are mean. I don't actually care if you infiltrate. And what about the Ottomans? I know they're my long term goal to attack them, but nope. So those are the three I'm at war with. Barbary states, they don't really matter. Well, I guess this is where we'll leave it, guys. We are making money again. So hopefully that money will be put to good use in raising some new armies. But I need I need some time of peace to rebuild everything, you know what I'm saying? And they just are not giving me peace. All right. Well, uh thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed some of the new additions, and I'll see you in part six.